Okay, today we have Dr. Sievers with us, or Dr. Teresa Sievers with us, our Thank medical you. expert. And we're going to be talking about arthritis, but a specific form of arthritis, which is called septic arthritis. And what are the causes of septic arthritis? Because we have people that have emailed us and asked us questions about that, and we want to get your expert opinion on that. Okay. Well, septic arthritis is always going to have an infection as a component to it. And there's different infections, typically bacteria, that can cause it, although there can be um, viral um, or um, fungal arthritic components. And the and organisms might be Neisseria, they might be Streptococcal, they might be Staphylococcal, but how that bacteria gets into the joint does differ. And it can be anything from um, a joint aspiration for an osteoarthritis, it can be post-surgical, it can be from a serious infection that the patient had in their body, like they had a urinary tract infection and it went into the bloodstream, and then the blood carried that infectious process into a joint it's usually a joint that's been damaged. Um, mm -hmm. You can have an acute trauma to the joint that you really oh. hurt the joint and then it allows for infection to get in there. So those are some of the causes of it. Okay, so these are some of the causes and what would you recommend like as far as uh, uh, natural treatment, yep. for example. Yep. After we've treated the you know acute problem with the antibiotics and got everything under control, and the patient's no longer has the infection, they're still going to have pain because that infection destroyed the joint. So we want to look at natural supplements that are going to help it. And the market's flooded with them. There's fatty acid supplements. You know, omega three fat fish oils. fish oils are big, very Those big are good common. Too. They're great. They're great. Um, MSM, glucosamine. They're all mm -hmm. great products. But the problem is people become overwhelmed with the volume of pills that they need to take. A lot of pills. It's a lot of pills. It's too many bottles. I, I get confused in the morning. And so I found Flexin to kind of solve several problems. One is it's one bottle that they need to open up. And often patients might say, well, I, I've tried glucosamine. It's not working for me. And I said, well, this product, the main ingredient that's working isn't really the glucosamine. It's part of it. But the main ingredient is the CMA or the acetyl meristoliate because that fatty acid works much quicker than fish oil and it slows down, uh, quiets down the immune system. So when you get the immune system quiet, you decrease the inflammation. When you get less inflammation, you get less pain. And then the ingredients like the MSM and the glucosamine can go in there and try to heal the and joint. And does it lubricate the, uh, it the joints? It lubricates the joint so that they don't have as much pain like, sure. like, like a fish oil would, but it does it much faster. Right. And it also, the MSM has the sulfur in it, which is allowing the joint to, uh, to repair because the cartilage repairs, it's needed for that. Um, another big problem is uh, tolerability. People tolerate it very well and absorption of the product. And that's where having the enzyme component in there makes the big difference sure. because they can digest and absorb the product so it can get to the joint to allow it to heal. That's great. Good. Great. That was really, really good information. Thank you, Dr. Sievers. Thank you. Thank you. Here you have it.